Hey there everybody, what's new in the whole universe? Today we're gonna talk about the pattern recognition. And the pattern recognition is the most valuable skill that you can learn in your life. One of the most, okay? It is not like the most, Jesus Christ, it's statement of absolute and the most valuable, but it's a really nice skill that you can learn in your life. And let's talk about it. By the way, who am I? I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and I world built things and also I learn a latent language which right now through the verba if Tinshnian, uh, okay, it is uh, from, I will read, the, the Corpus Turic Civilis is the modern name for a collection of fundamental works in jurisprudence issued from 529 to 534 by order of Eustian I, Byzantine Emperor, wow, it's interesting, and uh, about pattern recognition, we have our life, yes, and I have my own life, you have your own. Amazing. And in my childhood, when I was going to school, fifth grade, sixth grade, I was going to informatics, computer science, and we were learning Pascal. Pascal coding language. It is what? What the hell is it? It is the specific tool that... Uh, we use in our computer devices in our different things. So we can use it in C Sharp, C++, Python, or maybe Python, or maybe JavaScript, Python, Python, yes. JavaScript, Java, you maybe heard these names at least if you are not into coding stuff, yes. And what is the pattern of computer science and something like this, of programming languages? Example, it is from mathematics, by the way. If number four bigger than number three, then do specific things in your life. For example, open the book. If four bigger than three, if four is less than three, it means if, uh, if else, else, in another situation, what should you do? You should close the book. You should stay it as it was, okay? But if 4 is bigger than 3, then do this. And uh, it is so simple. But uh, with harder and more complex things, like uh, complex in a meaning not like harder, but in more, more easy iterations. If A will be equaling 4, and b will be equally 3, then we can write it as if a more than b, then do opening book, yes, and if b, if a like less than b, then close the book, or something like this, yes, and uh, or different patterns, okay, you understand it is equations, equations, and what is pattern recognition? Pattern recognition, it is when you can see the concept of this thing. Do I understand me? For example, I can open this book. It is easier, easier one, easier one example. Super mega easier. Previous was not really easy for some people. Even for me, sometimes. And in this current situation. And you can open this book. Yes, open this book. Good. Pattern. Pattern of opening the book. Next. Open this book. Pattern of opening this book. Yes? And different stuff can happen. In this pattern, it is only opening the page of small book. Small book, because it is small. And also, pattern of opening this book, and after that happened this uh, iteration. Uh, happened that this pen appeared here and wow jesus christ it is a pattern pattern of opening books but what will be after patterns it is one more pattern if i will open this book and i see the pen it is one more pattern yes it is uh, it is a more complex pattern inside of the pattern of opening book pattern of opening book yes i opened but I can see something inside of it. If it is the pen, then it is one more pattern. And if could be this situation with a pen too, like I open this book and I see here the pen, it means that I found one more pattern. It means we found two patterns. I opened the book 
one pattern. Second, I've seen a pen inside of the book. It is second pattern. And if I will open this book, yes, one more book, I will open and I see only pages. That's all. It is another pattern. I don't see here any of the of of pens. Yes. And you can do this recognition everywhere. In music, in drawing, painting. Like, for example, one more interesting pattern. Circle. Yes? Cycle. Circle. You, you can draw this circle. Yes? It is one pattern. Draw rectangle. One more pattern. Draw triangle. One more pattern. Draw like this triangle and this triangle. You can see it as a rhombus, romb, yes, this, uh, I don't know, romp or what's the name of it in uh, English language, one moment, a romp, need to translate it, a romp, how to say it correct, one moment, uh, rhombus, a rhombus, yes, exactly, I, I said it correct, and uh, if you draw two triangles, it is rhombus, rhombus, yes, in some way, like rhombus, uh, triangle, triangle, rhombus, amazing and what is the meaning of it what i talk about if you have a skill of recognizing patterns and making them and kind of transcribe them into small patterns small iteration iterations that you are really nice man it doesn't mean that you if you don't uh, know how to how to transcribe them into small patterns so that you are not nice. You are learning, it's good. You are learning and it is good. So you are learning how to do this. And it is everywhere. You may be nice at recognizing patterns in this situation of like opening book, you understand. Oh, yes, it is pattern good. Or maybe you're good at math. Or maybe you're good at music, recognizing some patterns like uh, it will be perfect fifth, you recognized it. Or maybe perf uh, or major thirds, you, you can recognize it easily or tritones or you maybe unitones can recognize it easily and uh, perfect ones uh, perfect firsts yes and uh, things of this nature or paradiddles on drums you can recognize or maybe clapping It is the same pattern, almost, uh, if uh, we will not, uh, like, count every small portion of time that I maybe missed uh, inside of the... doing this. But it is... The same thing, yes? I repeat it and it is kind of the same pattern. It is triples, yes? Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. Ta, ta, ta. One more pattern. One more pattern. And... One more pattern. And it is different patterns. In our life we have them everywhere. You have it on books. When you read books. For example, one character does things with another character. Pattern. Easy pattern. Like connection, communication between them. The pattern, when, we, when, we, when they do communication and after that happening one more thing, it is one more pattern. For example, one man gave the object, for example, it is a book to another person. It is one pattern. When he got this back, got, I, ho I hope that I used this verb uh, correct, like took, took it back, then it is one more pattern. And uh, the pattern of giving and then taking, it is one more pattern. And uh, we can call it uh, with different meanings. We can call it as exchange, exchange, or we can call it uh, in a way of selling, like I give you money, you give me product. Or maybe if it is not like equal, equal things, it is not uh, like equality that we say it in our mind that it is not equal, it's not fair to use it. We can call it as manipulation or something, or maybe something really not, uh, not good things. Yes, sometimes we can call it because we are human and we can call it uh, different ways. Like uh, you gave me four points, 
I took from you 5, it means something not in balance in a way of mathematics, if 4 is not equaling 5. And in real life mathematics of human, 4 is not equaling for 5, and it is not really good to do these things. But it is, uh, again, exchange. You can exchange, and you can say it, okay, it's good for this situation, because in the next time I can, like, more opportunities, like, in the future if we will look maybe it will be one more way to have a leverage to this person and uh, hey dude can you give me a, like uh, f can you do one more point plus and we will be equal it will be uh, our universe thing or we can think in the way of karma we gave to him more it means that world will give us more <laughs> and uh, yes i gave to him more emotions it means that the universe will bring to me more things back and uh, <laughs> I hope you understand this talk. Like uh, you can imagine, yes, uh, I gave to him more. Amazing, good. Universe will do good things to me. And recognize pa recognize patterns. It is so important in our life. I think so. And uh, the more different types of pattern recognition and more complex things you know, the better you are as a as achiever of things and understanding of concepts. Understanding of concepts in our life. Yes? And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below. And thank you a lot for Fiona, who wrote to me comments and uh, comments. And one more dude who wrote to one more Russian dude who wrote about Eminem style of my speaking, speaking skills in English. And uh, also Leila Toyoko, thank you. Musha Pologo, Kat Lego, thank you. Max, thank you. Thank you a lot uh, to everybody, I so appreciate it, <laughs> by the way. And when are you coming out with an album? Leila asked me on uh, one of the videos. I will tell you, I will do, I, I do right now music daily. I think that I am right now in a easy way of pattern recognitions. Yes, you understand. I'm right now on the level I can recognize easy patterns. In any level of uh, our master peaceful and uh, mastery. What is mastery in our life? Mastery, it is a pattern recognition is specific in specific thing. And uh, the more you recognize them, the better you are at this skill. Do you understand me? For example, how to say if person is great at something, like great at music. You cannot say to him like, you are great because you invested a lot of time. Yes, you, you could invest in a lot of time in it. It is nice, really. It is uh, really super nice. I invested 7000 hours in it and I have like video documentation of it. It is really fair to say that this person is a master of it because we have kind of evidences. But how to say also that maybe this person is a master of it? We can call him master if he has a pattern recognition, if he could recognize uh, a lot of patterns of music, complex and simple, the better he is in music. And pattern recognition, it is more about our, uh, how to say it, combinatorics, combinatorics of mathematics. For example, we can play note DO, 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 DO and ME. It will be what it will be perfect major if uh, it is do and me they are clear like white white buttons do me yes i don't know i i pronounced it correct or not sounds of do and me it is it is major third in music and when you can recognize it uh, fast like understand it fast and uh, you are a master of it master of recognizing major third if you can recognize notes of do re mi fa so la si do and uh, then you are a master of it too you are kind of good at this pattern and how to say that you are amazing at at music like in total if you can recognize a lot of different patterns, like super mega lot, amazingly huge amount of patterns that you can recognize inside of your mind, then I can say that you are good at this. 
Yes, and everybody can say it. And uh, it all depends. I don't know how how we recognize it. What shows to us that we can recognize it or not. It's something feeling inside of us. But I believe that maybe something inside of our mind. We have kind of, D, not DNA, but neurons. They are connected. Myelin thing. And uh, some of the nerves that are connected uh, to each other. And they said to us that we are, that we can recognize this pattern. It is, maybe we have it. It is kind of the the variables variables of pattern if we have this variables of pattern inside of our mind that we can surely say that we can recognize it how do i do this in real life right now i try to make it uh, more uh, visually visually because i can see my mind uh, like in real life in a way that i sit at my room and uh, i don't have specific devices uh, with me right now maybe i have but i don't uh, really sure about it by the way mosquitoes and uh, we can uh, how, how do i count my pattern recognitions i create music i create poetry i create books i create my languages and uh, why do I do this? Because I want to recognize my patterns. I want to make them count. I want to make my my patterns count. It's what I do in my life. And uh, I want to be like uh, better at it. And so all content that I, that I create, it is I do different styles of uh, patterns. And I want to count them in my documentation channel. I publish how I play different types of uh, compositions. And compositions, we can look at them as patterns. Because... Yes, we can play this song of uh, Turkish March by Mozart. Yes, uh, who is Wolfgang Amadeus. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. We can play it. Yes, Wolfgang Amadeus. Amadeus, I think that Amadeus, uh, in the Russian language we call him Ama Wolfgang Amadei Mozart. Uh, but in English I think that uh, Wolfgang, need to Google. Wolfgang Amadeus, yes, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. We will right now put it inside of the, this and we'll hear. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Amadeus Mozart. Mozart. Amadeus Mozart. He's uh, a Deutscher. Deutschland man, yes, wie geht es dir? <laughs> wie geht es dir? Willkommen. I, and uh, I und uh, and uh, I want to say one thing. Yes, about uh, things. The composition it is a pattern, and if people like it in our society, like whole society that we have in our life, and it is kind of with commercial success with money with fame with glory with power with influence around then it means that this pattern that this pattern is so commercially successful but in total compositions are patterns everything is a pattern in our life not maybe everything i don't know but most things that are complex and we can th we can see them through the pattern prism in our life yes and so uh, if we how to say it if we <laughs> if this m pattern is kind of successful we can say it that successful composition music nice it is a piece of a masterpiece masterpiece and super nice music but in total every every song every song is good absolutely everything even <laughs> this song is good really good schmeckt lecker uh, if we say it uh, in uh, deutsch like tastes good and really it's nice but in society we have something morals ethics we have things like jesus christ no need to do this it is no, not really nice to do this and tell oh, mamma mia pampala mia it's not really nice and uh, society can say to us these phrases and it means that uh, this sound of this it's not really nice it sounds like a f a r t yes and I will not say this word because it's maybe a v vulgar word word to use on internet, on YouTube. But sorry, I'm extremely sorry. It is the only example. It's not propaganda of this F-A-R-T. And uh, it is music. 
<laughs> really, guys? And when we do this, uh, when it is with commercial and success, then we can say it. Wow, it's commercially successful. And I want to say that this pattern, it is not really a nice pattern to use it everywhere, because people will think of you, how, oh, what the hell. But in a comedy pattern, it's a nice pattern. It is like a small pattern, it is a simple pattern inside of the comedy skit, inside of this comedy movie, inside of the comedy joke of toilet jokes and uh, this type of jokes, then it will be kind of commercially successful. If we will look at this through the capitalistic prism and that this joke can bring to us money, then it is good thing. It is amazing. If we will look in a way of like, Jesus Christ, it is not uh, l l nice to use these sounds. They are kind of n unnatural to us and Jesus Christ, so unnatural thing. Then, yes, it is not really nice. If we look for through this prism, but if we look like through and we will accept it, okay, let it be. Da, 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 tomorrow, let it be. Yes, and uh, amazing, amazing talk, amazing podcast for you was today, and uh, it was my pattern that I wanted to share to you uh, that you can. Uh, th this video is a pattern, and other videos are patterns too, and some of them are commercially su successful, some of them not, not, but in any case, they can bring to you value in any situation, any type of content can bring to you value, because it is, it could inspire you to do any anything, everything, absolutely in our everything, absolutely everything can bring you value in this world. I I'm not like a person who, no 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 no, no. Uh, one moment I will I will tell. You. I'm the person who is from humankind, like I'm not against them. I'm not against like kill each other and do kind of maniac things. Nope. Nope, I, I'm against it and I don't want to support it. I don't want to be a supporter in a mini of doing it. Yes, I can be... One moment. I can be theoretical, theoretical supporter of it as a writer about like Voldemort or maybe a writer about the story. You understand, uh, if we create villains for a story, then we kind of a little bit can be supporters of these things, but we are not real supporters of like physical things. It's like to be a theoretical psychopath and also doer's psychopath. Ps uh, theoretical psychopath can I imagine that, oh, I will go to the car and I will smash people or uh, to this place, to that, and like it is like playing games. You can uh, kill someone inside of the game, like you will kill a monster or something, but you will not do this to real people. Yes, or maybe you can imagine. Oh, I will kill this plant to eat tomato. I uh, I uh, kill tomato every day and I eat it. I'm Hannibal of tomatoes. And uh, you can imagine this, but you will not do this for real people. Yes, and uh, that's why I I'm against real doings for real people. I am against it. But uh, in a way of uh, speaking and doing conspiracy theories and things of this nature, writing about it, it's uh, it's okay. It's uh, it's normal. But I'm a human humanity. Humanity. I'm sharing humanity and sharing love to you guys. Love, peace and be cool. Always go forward to your dreams. Uh, yes, uh, thank you guys. It was amazing to talk with you today. It was my show <laughs> and have a wonderful day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Maybe. If you have any questions, then let me know. In any case, I can produce any type of content and it could be potentially bring you value if I will try to make it aware to you. For example, if I will upload something about jurisdiction, I can say that uh, you will be more jurisdictional, like created or maybe because I upload it on social media as uh, YouTube, you can search for it and some people are searching we have 7.9 billion people inside of our world planet of earth maybe and because i didn't see them and <laughs> maybe yes science says to us that we are 7.9 billion maybe yes maybe not i don't know but uh, i believe in it uh, in some ways yes and uh, 7.9 billions we have in our world and uh, yes we can uh, <laughs> uh, 
it, someone can Google the research like uh, the patterns of life and uh, my name of the video and maybe he like, wow, interesting to watch. And it means that every type of content can bring value. Not like a fast and maybe not super potentially successful in, uh, l n no, I mean that commercial successful in this current moment. In this current, like this second, this millisecond, but in a way of long term, like perspective, 50 years, 60, 1 million years, maybe it will be really super, super nice stuff for the future. Like Jesus Christ, it's so amazing. So thank you a lot for watching. Let's go doing wor workouts. I want to do this because workouts are nice and be guys, be like amazing guys. Go forward, do workouts and everything will be no <laughs> and you will be inside of the knockouts. Yes, you will be like Jesus. You will be amazing in this world. Go forward to your dreams, my Lieben. I don't know my Lieben what does it mean. I think that's my Lieben, need to learn it. Uh, okay. Schmeckt lecker, ich bin glücklich, du bist glücklich. Uh -huh. Thank you. See you next time. Forward. Onward, guys. See ya.